Hey y'all, hey! I'm back with an unboxing today and this is the Little Bits Box by Mommy Lay. I have been a friend and follower of hers for so, so long. She is one of the sweetest persons that I've ever met and that has walked this earth. She has done some incredible things in the creative community and so I'm so excited to support her today in sharing with you the contents of her October Little Bits box. I'm also gonna share with you how you can get your next box for free. And I am excited to share with you that this unboxing includes the journal. <laughs> and so you'll see here, I'm getting ready to pull out this passport size journal. This is Dot Grid. It is cute and compact. It features the Little Bits characters not only on the cover, but on the cover page of this journal and also throughout this entire kit. And so if you're like me, I like my things to match. <laughs> I'm probably a little too matchy matchy sometimes, but um, I love color, but I love color that coincide with each other. And so um, to have these characters featured on the cover and then also have all of the supplies that I need to use them on the inside is a bonus. So I'm really excited about this. So we've seen the journal and now we're looking at just some additional information that's included in the box. Um, QR codes to take you to the website and to all kind of fun things that Lay offers with this very cute kit. And then of course you get the card that talks about the kit itself and then this could be used as a journaling card but this has the information on how you can get your next box free which i will actually share with you um, in detail in this video closer to the end so that you know how to do that i realized that that card was up very shortly so oh my gosh y'all don't you just want to eat these <laughs> They are so cute. So these are ice cream cone highlighters. They come in all these colors. So you get all these colors, very compact. They are very small and cute. So if you can't carry like a, a big old pencil box with you wherever you're trying to go, you can take your little ice cream cones. And I, I also like that the color of the highlighter is not necessarily the color of the tip of the cone. So the cover of the highlighter is the color of the ink. And you're gonna see me drop my ice cream highlighter tops throughout this. Um, I'm gonna show you all the colors. I'm also gonna show you how they look on paper. I did not do a great job of drawing the highlighted lines because I'm holding the paper in my hand to um, try to put it as close to the camera <laughs> as I possibly could. But um, I will say that they're very cute and compact. So personally, I'm a Bible journaler as well as a journaler. And so having highlighters that are convenient to carry around is a bonus for me. And not only that, but these are cute and photo worthy. Oh my goodness, I can totally see these in the background of a picture. <laughs> And y'all, the purple one is purple and teal. Well, it's not really teal, it's like green, but still y'all get the point. Um, those are my favorite colors. So I love that these two are paired together, but I'm gonna continue swatching the highlighters on this little card that was included in the kit and then go to the next little special exciting thing to pull out this box.
because y'all how cute is this oh my goodness this little compact case too that matches oh lord have mercy on my soul <laughs> so I'm, I'm in love with the highlighters now it's time to dig into the little bits box bag this is full of the rest of the goodies that come with this kit and I, I just, I had so many ideas as I looked through this. And so I'll try to remember some of the ideas that I had and maybe share some with you as I go through this bag. But the next thing that I'm pulling out is a keychain. So I realized I said that like this was a basic keychain. This is not basic, you all. This is cute. Oh my goodness. Look at those little characters hanging off the house. So I had this idea at, and it's y'all, you know I love this lavender um, actual chain. And so I had this idea to stick it on my cute little compact pouch because once I use my highlighters up, which I probably will, because I go through highlighters like every two weeks. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this little case for something else. And I want that cute little keychain hanging off of it. And so um, that's an idea where you can put it or you can hang it off a planner or a journal. And so I wanted to share that with you. Then you get this cute little berry clip. Oh my goodness. So it matches the cover of the journal. You're going to see that in a second because I'm going to clip it to one of the pages inside. And there's a little unicorn on the top, on top of a strawberry like drink. I used to, side note, I used to love strawberry milk in um, high school. I'm not afraid to deny that my friends used to tease me about it because they were saying it wasn't real milk <laughs> what else um i loved it and i i used to also purchase the uh strawberry syrup by hershey's to add to my milk so i literally i really love strawberry milk but anyway this is a cute little reminder of my childhood and so i'm sticking that on top of the matching journal that comes with the kit in passport size and then we're going to continue going through our little bag here which is like i feel like i've only pulled out a little and it's been a lot so here is a notepad that has um again those little cute little bits featured on the top and so you'll see their little house with the candies and like everybody's smiling y'all you see the cherry in the chimney <laughs> everybody's happy that's what i need in my life so it's just a little notepad with the note notebook paper look at the bottom and it also will fit on the pages of the journal that comes with this kit next we're going to look at the ephemera which um, also has that kawaii look it looks like um, the characters on the cover of the journal but I'm going to go through and give you like a closer look of all of them. I will tell you now that the very last piece of ephemera that I'm going to show you is my favorite in the whole bag.
also right after this treat yourself tag is my favorite piece oh look at her coming out from behind that little cupcake oh jesus wept <laughs> she is just too cute so i would probably laminate her so i could have longevity with her but the next thing i'm pulling out y'all i just feel like there's stuff in this box for days and this little bag is just stuff with things that you can use in so many different ways so these are sticker sheets but it's like this is like a thick little pad of sticker sheets so you'll see as i go through there's so many and they are holographic so you can see them sparkling i tried to intentionally like move them around so that you could see that hollow in the words and some of the images you can see them on the frames here look at that little girl in the middle i love that little bear <laughs> And look, this is a whole sheet of them, hollow. I just, I, you know, I just think this is so cute. I am impressed with the quality as well because these sheets are fairly thick. So it's not like stickers that you'll struggle to peel off. And you have so many, like you could use this kit <laughs> for like two or three months, I, I would think. And then you get a little stamp set the stamp set will outlive everything in the box because you can use it ongoing at any time. And these stamp, I forgot to put those ephemera pieces back. These stamps will have a long life because they're not for a specific holiday or theme. You can use these at any time. So you get candy, you get my favorite little bear girl, that berry strawberry milk, that's what I'm calling it now, and some text. And so, um, all you need is the backing of for the stamps and an ink pad. And of course, what is a kit, y'all, without washi? Uh, so we get some washi in the little bits box, and it features all the characters with some of the little sweets and candies on here, and uh, macaroons, and all those fun things that you saw in other parts of the kit that I've already shared this washi tape is very like smooth it also has hollow on it and it's like um oh i don't know how, what to compare it to but it could be it's a little bit transparent as well so i think it will like melt onto your page is what i'm trying to share about the texture of it i love the bag y'all it features all the the cute little bits and some cute little drawings I believe that Lay created and drew all of these characters. I could be wrong, but I know that she does this often. If you're not following her on Instagram, you should. She does this a lot on her account and I love watching her. And so here are the paper pieces that come with this kit. They are um, half, like a half sheet of eight and a half by 11. So they're already cut down to um so if you put both together it would probably be a full sheet of paper but i love that they're small half sheets considering that the journal is small and so you can see the front and backs these are double-sided you get the art marks with the strawberries the macaroons and that has some hearts on the back and then you'll of course because this is themed with sweets um you get sprinkles in the ice cream cone so I, I just think this is also cute and you can use these in a variety of ways so it doesn't just have to be for journaling it doesn't just have to be for planning you can use it for mixed media you can use it to create tags i mean the possibilities are endless and there's so much content in this box that you really could use it for them all so now i'm going to share with you how you can get your next box for free so Thank you first for watching my unboxing. I learned from reading that little card that if you snap an unboxing photo or video and tag at little, bit bo little Bits Box or shoot an email with a link to your video when you receive your box and do an unboxing at hello at littlebitsbox.com, put unboxing as the subject line, you could score your next box for absolutely free so it doesn't mean that you will get a free box but if you do a good enough job you could win your next box and so um, they will 
Lay will get in touch with you ASAP if you are the winner and you'll receive your next box free. And so they'll sort out with you also. You might say, I want this box free that I unbox. And so she'll offer you a refund or a special code to get your next kit on the house. So again, all you have to do is, if you're excited about this, create your own unboxing, snap an unboxing photo or create a video, tag them at Little Bits Box on Instagram or shoot an email to hello at littlebitsbox.com with the subject line unboxing. And then when you do that, they will contact you back, the icing on the cake and give you information on how you can get your next box for free. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.